Hey everybody, Clorf here again. Welcome back to The Long Dark. Uh, I want to take some of these wolf pelts. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Um, and see if we can make something to wear. I think that's enough stuff. We'll find out in a sec. I also want to do some more fishing. Uh, get some food back in and ready. Um, I'm not too, too hungry. I've got some food on me. No bear or wolves around, so that's good. Let's see what we can do about making something to wear. Well, I've, I left some stuff here. And what have I got right now? I made a wolf skin coat. Got deer skin pants. Um, deer skin pants. I need deer skin boots. Okay, crap. I brought the wrong stuff. Well, good to know. How's the rest of the clothing holding up? Condition wise, you know, things are okay. I'm plus 18 degrees, so that's very nice. It's warm enough that I can farm up a bunch of wood, so that's good. Chop down a few of these limbs into smaller pieces so I can have some proper firewood. Yeah, while it's warm enough to do that, darn right I'm gonna do that. These might be fur, which would be nice because those burn for a lot longer. I am still gonna grab the sticks though, because again, that's three. Chop that down. I'm still above freezing, so. Too heavy. Yeah, I know. Things are getting a bit weighty. That's about 55 minutes per cedar, if I remember right. It's close to an hour. And close to an hour and a half per the fur. Let's take a quick look in the fridge see where we are water-wise. I have a crap ton of chocolate bars. And I'm pretty decent water-wise. Wow, I've got a lot of travel food. That's good. That's actually very good. Firewood is definitely one of those resources that you can never, ever have enough of. Same thing with matches, although the matches are kind of limited in this game. And that's one of the reasons I want so much firewood, is if I get into a situation where... I only have so many matches left. I want to be able to light a fire that I can keep going for hours and hours and hours. So I could leave the house if need be and go do some fishing, go do some hunting. Now the other thing I'm going to need is more whetstones to sharpen up these axes I've got. Because it's a little bit of a, a loss of durability every time you use it. And I need to use it both to chop these limbs down and to do some fishing. I hear movement. It's really close. There he is. Dog on bear. Let's see if we can make it across the way here. And take a look and see if we can see any deer. That would be ideal. Wolves. Wolves are not deer. Not in any way, shape, or form. Let's see if we can find some deer. We just need one. And then I need to get close enough to it to take a shot. kind of just crawling and see what we can do. I need to get kind of close, but not too close to scare him. And I'm hoping he's going to stop here in a sec. Hmm. 
Here he goes. Damn it. Now, did I hit him? Yes, I did. That's the good news. The bad news is I now have to chase my prey. He may bleed to death. He may not. He's moving, that's for sure. There's still a good blood trail, which is nice. Yeah, he's coming down the... The snowbank now. I really don't want to have to use a second round, but it looks like I might have to. It's about as close as I dare get. I don't want him running off. Got him. Okay, I have a limited amount of time to harvest this. Eight kilograms of meat. Wow. That's awesome. Let's do this. It's going to get cold. Oh, it's warming up. It is, however, going to be really damn heavy. Oh, carcass harvesting went up. Let's see what this bonus is now. Uh, reduction in meat, star meat harvesting time. I can harvest 50% frozen by hand and 10% reduction in hide or gut harvesting times. Nice. Uh, it's getting a bit snowy. It's hard you to might see. Might have to drop some gear. I am not dropping any gear because I need this stuff. Wow. Now there's deer all over the darn place. I want to find... Some stuff I can make bows with, arrows with, stuff like that. I want to find more resources like whetstones. It's still warm enough that uh, I don't have to worry about the coldness, which is good because that's that's one of the the hard things is maintaining warmth. So all this extra clothing that I've got helps tremendously. And then we can get the boots. That'll be another one or two degrees bonus. Hmm. I might not have been this way yet. Okay, let's leave the coastal highway. See what we got. Pace, so that's good. It's getting a little colder though. That is not a tree I can do anything with. Okay. There's a car there, I'm gonna check that out in a sec. Is this a tree I can do anything with? No. Okay. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. <sighs> See, that's worthwhile. I'm going to have to leave something behind. Nice. Um, always take a look around. You never know what you're going to see. Oh, dead guy. This is cool. Matches. I will. Fishing tackle, I'll take it. Antiseptic. And a backpack. Ah. Uh, basement. Oh, I can't see a damn thing. Ooh. Is it warm in here? Yeah, it's actually quite warm in here. Good. Um, flare I'll take. 
I'll take a look around everything that we can. More lantern fuel. That's a that's always a good thing. I think and I can killers. use this. Nice. Drawer. Anything in here? No. How about this one? No. Thanks. Is that food or grape soda? Visors, nothing. There's always nothing behind the visors. It's just kind of fun to open and close those. Oh, frozen angler. I will take that. I'm not going to take the newsprint, though. That's a free skill up for fishing. Ah, oh, god. Damn it. Things over here I can do with. That would be a big fat no. Okay. That's right. Take the bunny. Now, here's the sad part. I need that bunny carcass. <sighs> oh, rifle firearm went up. Accuracy increased by 20%. Critical hit. Three condition per repair action. Nice. I need the hide more than anything else. Well, I'm not going down that way. Let's check out the cave. I don't think I see any bones. At least not from here, anyways. Let's check out the road. Oh! That looks like a mine entrance. And more old man's lichen. I'm going to take that. Conditions are getting really crappy outside. Minus 27, that's not good. Let's see if we can figure out where the hell we're going. Oh, low bridge. Um, crouch. Now somebody sent me a PM on uh, on Facebook and said that all these mines, uh, all the passages connect together, so there's no real way of getting lost. That's kind of nice to know. So no matter which way I go, it should lead to the same areas. Uh, there are, however, dead ends. <clears throat> so I might get sidetracked, but I'll never get lost in theory. I might go around in circles. More cloth. More lantern fuel, which is nice. So keep the lamp. Uh, I don't think I need to bring this stuff with me. The bandage I'll take. Antiseptic I'm gonna leave. If I can find my way back to this area, that'll be good, because I can use this as kind of a staging area. Um, matter of fact, I'm, I know I'm carrying too much stuff. Looks like we've got two directions we go. That's dead end. Is there anything in there? There's a toolbox. I'm going to pick that up and mark the the passage. Looks like we reached the end here. So I'm gonna turn that off and conserve fuel. More matches. A crappy book. Let's see. Oh, Nobody rifle needs cartridge. More. Cured gut, I can leave that. Extra rifle rounds are always a good thing. roll here. So I think we're going to sleep a couple hours here just to get some rest. And I'm going to pick this up and next time we're going to see what's on the other side of this door and kind of explore around 
and see what kind of trouble we can get into. So I think we're going to leave this one here. So until next time, thank you all again for watching. If you like this video, go on ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, comments, suggestions, anything uh, I should know about the other side before I actually go and do that, uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will respond to you as quickly as I possibly can. But until next time, thank you again. My name is Clorf. We'll see you next time. Oh, frig that! One damage. Oh, people, grab your ankles. <laughs>